Hello friends and welcome to the tutorial on matrices. At the end of this tutorial, you will be able to create matrices using data, create matrices from lists, do basic metric operations like addition multiplication, then perform operations to find out the inverse of matrix, determinant of a matrix, agent values and agent vectors of a matrix, norm of a matrix, singular value decomposition of a matrix. So, before beginning this tutorial, we would suggest you to complete the tutorial on getting started with lists, then getting started with arrays and accessing parts of arrays. Let us start our IPython interpreter by PyLab loaded. So type IPython space hyphen PyLab in terminal. All matrix operations are done using arrays. Thus, all the operations on arrays are valid on matrices only. A matrix may be created as, you can type in the terminal, m1 is equal to arrays within brackets and in square brackets, 1, 2, 3, 4, and hit enter. Using the method shape, we can find out the shape or size of the matrix. So type m1 dot shape and hit enter. So you can see the output there. Since it is a one row column, one row four column matrix, it returned tuple. It returned a tuple one by four. So a list can also be converted to a matrix as follows. So type L one equal to within square brackets. 1, 2, 3, 4 that's in one bracket and comma in another square bracket 5, 6, 7, 8 then type m2 is equal to array within bracket 11 11 You, sorry, you have to type L1, array L1. Pause the video here and try out the following exercise and resume the video. Create a two dimensional matrix M3 of order 2 by 4 with elements 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. For that, now switch to terminal for solution. So M3 can be created as type m3 is equal to array within closing brackets in inside square brackets now 5 comma 6 comma 7 comma 8 comma in another square bracket 9 comma 10 comma 11 comma Let us now move to matrix operations. We can do matrix addition and subtraction easily. So M3 plus M2 does element by element addition. That is matrix addition. Note that both the matrices should be of the same order. So type M3 plus M2 and hit enter. So you can see the output. Similarly, M3 minus M2 does matrix subtraction that is element by element subtraction so you can try out by typing m3 minus m2 now let us try matrix multiplication so type m3 star m2 note that in arrays m3 star m2 does element wise multiplication and not matrix multiplication Matrix multiplication is uh, multi matrix multiplication in matrices are done using the function dot. So type dot within brackets m3 comma m2 and hit enter. So we can see an error value shown in the command. Due to size mismatch, the multiplication could not be done and it returned an error. Now. Let us see an example for matrix multiplication. 
For doing matrix multiplication, we need to have two matrices of the order n by m and m by r and the resulting matrix will be of the order n by r. Thus, let us first create two matrices which are compatible for multiplication. So type m1 dot shape and hit enter. Matrix m1 is of the shape 1 by 4. Let us create another one of the order 4 by 2. So type m4 is equal to arrays in closing brackets inside square brackets then each two values are given in separate square brackets so 1 comma 2 comma then 3 comma 4 comma 5 comma 6 comma 7 comma 8 then type dot you can bracket m1 comma m4 Thus, the dot function is used for matrix multiplication. So, as we already learned in arrays, the function identity, which creates an identity matrix of the order n by n, the function zero, zeros, which creates a matrix of the order m by n with all zeros, the function zeros like function which creates a matrix with zeros with the shape of the matrix path, then the function one which creates a matrix of order m by n with all ones the function ones underscore like which creates a matrix with ones with the shape of matrix path all these functions can also be used with matrices so now let us see how to find out the transpose of a matrix we can do by typing print m4 in the command then type m4 dot t where the t is capital as you saw matrix name dot capital t will give the transpose of a matrix so now pause the video here and try out the following exercise and resume the video find out the Fibonacci norm of inverse of a 4 by 4 matrix the matrix being m5 is equal to arrange within brackets 1 comma 17 dot reshape to 4 comma 4 the Frobenius the Frobenius norm of a matrix is defined as the square root of the sum of the absolute squares of its elements so now switch the terminal for the solution let us create the matrix M5 by using the data provided in the question so type M5 is equal to arrange within brackets 1 comma 17 dot reshape then within brackets 4 comma 4 then type print m5 the inverse of a matrix a a raised to minus 1 is also called the reciprocal matrix such that a multiplied by a inverse will give 1 the Frobenius norm of a matrix is defined as square root of sum of squares of elements in the matrix the inverse of a matrix can be found using the function in inv within brackets a so you can type on the terminal im5 is equal to inv within brackets m5 then and the Frobenius norm of the matrix im5 can be found out as sum is equal to 0 for each in im5 dot flatten function within closing bracket so now then type sum plus is equal to each star each that is each multiplied by each then type print sqrt within brackets sum thus we have successfully obtained the Frobenius norm of the matrix m5
So now pause the video here and try out the following exercise and resume the video. Find out the infinity norm of the matrix I M phi. The infinity norm of a matrix is defined as the maximum value of sum of the absolute of elements in each row. So now switch to terminal for solution. So type sum underscore rows is equal to square brackets. Then type for i in i m phi colon. Then type sum underscore rows dot append within brackets a b s within brackets i dot sum closing brackets. Then type print max within brackets sum underscore rows. Well, to find out the Frobenius norm and infinity norm, we have an even easier method. So let us see that now. The norm of a matrix can be found out using the method norm. So using norm function, we can see that. In order to find out the Frobenius norm of the matrix I M phi, we do norm. So in the terminal, you can type norm within brackets I M phi and hit enter. And to find out the infinity norm of the matrix I M phi, we do norm within brackets I M phi comma O R D is equal to I N phi I N F. This is easier when compared to the code we wrote. Read the documentation of norm to read up more about ORD and the possible types of norms the norm function produces. Now let us find out the det determinant of the matrix M phi. The determinant of a square matrix can be obtained by using the function DET closing bracket and the determinant of M phi can be found out as the type DET within brackets M phi. Hence, we get the determinant. Let us now move on to agent vectors and agent values. The agent values and agent vector of a square matrix can be computed using the function a, that is eig, and a value, that is eig vals. So let us find out the agent values and agent vectors of a matrix M phi. We find the mass typing eig within brackets m phi in the terminal. Note that it returned a tuple of mat two matrices. The first element in the tuple are the agent values and the second element in the tuple are the agent vectors. Thus the agent values are given by eig within brackets m phi and in square brackets 0. Then, and the agent vectors are given by EIG within brackets M phi within square brackets 1. The agent values can also be computed using the function EIG VALS as typing on the terminal EIG VALS and within brackets M phi. Now, let us learn how to do the singular value decomposition of or SVD of a matrix. Suppose M is an M cross in matrix whose entries came come from the field K which is either the field of real numbers or the field of complex numbers. Then there exists a factorization of a form M is equal to U sigma V star where U is an M by M unitary matrix over K the matrix sigma is an m by n that is diagonal matrix and with non negative real numbers on the diagonal and v is an n by n unitary matrix over k that is v star which denotes the conjugate transpose of v in that node such a factorization is called the singular value decomposition of m 
the SVD of matrix M5 can be found as so now open the terminal and type SVD within brackets M5 notice that it returns a tuple of three elements the first one U the next one sigma and the third one V star and this brings us to the end of this tutorial in this tutorial we have learned to create matrices using arrays add, subtract and multiply elements of matrix find out the inverse of a matrix using the function i and v use the function det to find the determinant of a matrix calculate the norm of a matrix using the for loop and also using the function norm finding out the eigenvectors and eigenvalues of a matrix using the function eig and eig vals then finally calculating the singular value decomposition that is svd of a matrix using the function svd now here are some self assessment questions for you to solve first one a and b are two array objects element wise multiplication in matrix are done by option one a star b then second option multiply a comma b then dot a comma b and fourth one element underscore multiply a comma b then the second question is eig a 1 and eig val a are the same is it true or false then the final one the third one is norm a of order that is ord is equal to fro is the same as norm a true or false now this we will just look at the answers the first one element wise multiplication between two matrices A and B is done using A star B second one the answer is false EIG A 0 and e, EIG VALS A are same that is both will give the alien values of matrix A and the third one the norm A comma order is equal to FRO and norm A are same since the order is equal to FRO stands for Frobenius norm hence answer is true so hope we have you have enjoyed this tutorial and found it useful thank you